minimum wage laws are set because okay before we go into why minimum wage laws are set when we talk about minimum wage it means employers should not pay the the law binds uh, the law makes it compulsory for employers should not pay with should not pay less than the limit that is been uh, uh, that is being set by government the limit that is being set by government to pay the lowest ranked officer mm. in the economy or in the country so you don't pay less than that if you do then you have to then there's, there's going to be legal battles. It becomes illegal for you to pay workers less than what the government has set as the minimum wage. Yeah. Do you get what minimum wage laws yeah. are? Minimum wage means the minimum wage means the lowest amount you could pay mm. to the lowest rank officer in the country. Yeah, that's the so this is what wage. employers must pay. Mm. So if you are paying below it, that it is illegal. Mm. So what are the reasons why government sets minimum wage laws? One. To benefit disadvantaged workers, it is argued that people such as women, ethnic minorities, and low-income fa families benefit from minimum wages. For example, it is estimated that if the UK introduces a mandatory national living wage, female workers will benefit more. So, one of the reasons why government sets minimum wage is for those that are disadvantaged in the society. Who are those that are disadvantaged in the society? The minorities, those that are, you know, they are, they, they, they are represented within, a, they are represented by a small group. So they don't have a voice. Mm. They, 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 don't have, they don't have large numbers of people in their, in their group. Yeah. So they, they, are, they are too small. They are too, uh, they are, uh, they, uh, they are, their representation is too small. They have minimum representation in the society. So they are disadvantaged. Female, they, you know, you don't pay them as you pay males. So these are people that, these are people that government are trying to protect. As a result, they come up with minimum wage laws. So you don't pay less than what government has set as minimum wage. Yeah. So that's the first reason to ensure that those that are disadvantaged have the same opportunity as those that are advantaged. Number one. Two, to reduce poverty. You know, poverty means people don't have the people can't afford the basic, the basic needs like food, clothing, and shelter. Mm. So, with minimum wage laws being set or being passed, it means. People's, uh, the level of income in the society would increase. People yeah. will start earning more. As a result, they will be able to afford the basic needs. So mm. poverty is likely to reduce. Mm. Clear. The, is it clear, please? Yes, clear. The third one, to help businesses. A minimum wage should promote greater equality and fairness among workers. As a result, workers will be better motivated. So this should reduce staff turnover and absence and raise productivity. With minimum wage, with minimum wage, you know, with minimum wage being raised, it means people will earn more. So earning more will motivate workers, and that would increase productivity. Mm. You get it? So sure. it's a win-win situation for businesses. If minimum wage is, is being increased, workers that are getting lo lower pay will start, in, uh, will start earning more, and that could motivate them. And if they are motivated, if workers are happy, they, uh, they, uh, it is likely or uh, uh, it is expected that their productivity will also increase. Yeah. Do you get it? So these are the reasons why government sets minimum wage rate. Is it clear? Very clear.